what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we will talk about google cloud firestore so let's begin so in this tutorial you would learn how to make a firebase project what is google cloud firestore database some essential concepts of using firestore database how to connect to the database and what are the credentials you need to access the database and finally what are my plans for the next tutorials now let's make a firebase project so for that go to your browser and type firebase go to the first link for this you have to be signed in into your google account now press go to console create a project let's name our project cloud fire i accept and continue then press continue check this and create project now press continue and here's your project Go to the develop section and the database. Now click create database, the cloud firestore database and start in test mode. We will change these rules after learning the security rules. So for now test mode, click next and done. So here is our Cloud Firestore database. So basically Firebase is a Google based product and it has two sub products which are the real time database and the Cloud Firestore database which uh, we will be talking about in this tutorial. So uh, the original database of the Firebase was the real time database but recently the Cloud Firestore database was introduced on January 31st 2019. Before this the uh, early beta versions were also available uh, for the Cloud Firestore database. So what is a Cloud Firestore database? It is a flexible and scalable database. It means that it is good for small application as well as for larger application uh, which have larger data sets. And it works for mobile, web and desktop development. And it is from the Firebase and Google Cloud platform. Which means that Firebase is a different product from Google and Google Cloud platform is another product from Google. So both of both the teams of Firebase and Google Cloud Platform work together to make the Firestore happen. It is a cloud hosted and NoSQL database means that uh, it is uh, hosted on a cloud computing platform and NoSQL database means that uh, it uh, has no tables and relations like the traditional SQL databases. So the Cloud Firestore is based on a document model database which means that all your data is stored in objects called documents that consist of key value pairs which we will talk about later in the video. So now we are talking about why Firestore. Why was the Cloud Firestore introduced and what features, uh, what new features and uh, improvement it holds over its predecessor, the real time database. So the first and most important thing is the basic file structure was significantly improved in the new Firestore database. Offline support for web application was introduced. The new Firestore also has the low latency support which means that it can process big data fast without delay which was a problem in the real time database as, the, uh, as an application uh, had a big data set it would take too long to process the data. Cloud Firestore also supports more advanced queuing. 
more secure than ever as it is based on the cloud platform it is uh, more secure than the real time database real time database was based on json tree so it was easy to store data within the uh, real time database but uh, it was difficult to fetch the data and uh, if we want to fetch lots of records at once uh, it was difficult in the real time database but uh, it is uh, very easy in the cloud firestore database so uh, it is easy to store and retrieve data in the new firestore database and with its uh, advanced query support it is now easy to manipulate the database as we see fit now we will talk about some essential concepts required for the uh, for using firestore database in your project so first we have collection which only stores documents then we have documents which can store fields with key value pair and can also store sub collections so a document can also store collections within it we can understand the concept of a collection and documents uh, with the help of a live example which is a new folder so a, uh, a computer can have multiple folders uh, as well as the firestore database it can have multiple collections uh, and uh, uh, we cannot store uh, any data inside the collection if i want to store uh, the data of a student which is uh, uh, its name roll number and uh, other stuff uh, uh, its address etc i cannot store it with uh, directly within a folder i need a text document to store the data so uh, this is also the concept in the firebase database collections can only store documents so a collection will only store document and rest of the data would be inside these documents and the data uh, written in the text document uh, is the example of uh, uh, fields with key value pairs now we will talk about fields so fields contain data or characteristic of data in the form of key and value so it is like this the key is the characteristics and the value is the value it holds for the particular characteristic so name is tag v the type is channel and views is 100000 so this is how uh, the field saves data within itself and then the field is saved within the documents along with the sub collections and then the document is finally stored within a collection so this is how storage works in the firestore database now let's take some practical examples so i'm gonna open the browser and start a collection within my firestore database and we will name it student list you can give gaps between your uh, collection id but i don't like that so i use this convention for naming anything now within the student list I would have a document named as grade 8 and I would not have any fields so just a document uh, first of all your database can have many collections but uh, uh, the collection can only have documents and a document can contain two things the collection or the fields so I'm gonna go with the collection and I'm gonna uh, name my collection information next and then we're gonna save uh, the information of a student and is CR so this should uh, represent that uh, if the student is a class representative or not so this should be boolean and the seat number here should be the same we are saving the uh, information of the student uh, with its seat number and then the name tag v save so you can see uh, how how good the data structure is there is a student list and within the student list i have a grade 8 column within uh, the grade 8 column i have a folder named information and inside this i can have multiple records of the students 
who studies in grade 8 so this is the information of the student now let's come back to the concepts so these are some points you need to know you need to create an app within your firebase project if you are using uh, your firestore database uh, on android ios or your website however you do not need to create any app if you are using uh, c sharp java or python uh, or other languages to develop desktop applications you can use firebase methods directly in javascript node.js and other web languages but if you want to use a firestore database using c sharp uh, you will uh, have to get a nuget package for yourself you can save data in the form of string number boolean and much more in the firestore database now we are ready to create a, a c sharp project for our firestore database so we will go inside the visual studio uh, and uh, create a new project of uh, type uh, windows form so windows form .NET framework click next and cloud fire click create first of all uh, you need to install the nuget package so go to manage nuget package here in the browse type firestore so here is the uh, google cloud firestore nuget package install it it usually takes a lot of time and now it is finished close it and then go to view code and start using google cloud dot firestore now let's create a button and when we click it the firestore should be connected some people ask on the internet that uh, how we can log in to the firestore or how uh, we can uh, log out of the firestore there is no login or log out you take permission and you submit data or whatever you retrieve data you just need permission and then you do your stuff so there is no logging in or logging out another thing we need to do before this is go to the firebase settings so in the project setting service accounts here generate new private key generate key and save file this would save the file to my desktop so i'm gonna come inside the solution explorer right click my project go to add existing item select all files and this is the file and when it is selected select this go to properties and select always copy and build action to content so this will uh, move your file to the location where it would be exported so now so with the app domain current domain based directory uh, we would get the address of the currently running application then uh, combine it with the name of uh, the json we will have our complete address of the json file having our credentials then we would supply the address of the file to the google credentials uh, variable and then we can create a firebase connection or we should say the key to our uh, availability of the firestore database another thing is that uh, we should make uh, this name smaller so i would remove all these and we have to remove them from here too so remove all these and just cloudfire.json click start 
now press the button and it says successful so our job of getting all the credentials are complete so these are the tutorials which are coming your way soon so stay tuned and i have created separate videos for the store retrieve and update delete data and one for the security rules for a reason and there would be more videos uh, which i haven't thought of yet but there could be more of uh, more videos for the fire store c sharp so this is all for the video if you like it uh, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time